black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah, fuck with me. <laughs> Yo, you can live all stay true. What is going on, you guys? Uh, I know you can't see it, but I got Subway here. This angle's all fucked up, but uh, obviously very weird and different video. We are uh, we are not in my condo. Well, we are in my condo. Uh, we're in the public. By the echo, you can probably hear I'm in a big room. Uh, I'm in a public like space that we can all use. It's communal. It's called the party room. I actually bartended a Halloween uh, event here last Friday. And I got to judge the pumpkin competition, which was pretty sick, to be honest with you. And I got paid pretty good for the event too, and I got drunk at it, so that's fun too. Uh, super random video. Uh, you ever just wake up some mornings and uh, you're just in the most confident mood ever? Like you're just to the point where it's like, it's kind of like fuck the world confidence. Like you just feel like next level, like you're just like, Fuck it, like I can just really be and do and say anything I want because why not? Like I'm gonna die in the end. <laughs> it's strange, these days are few and far between, but some days I wake up and I just, I'm like, let me talk my shit. Like, who, like, who really cares at the end of the day? Like, you know, for the pleasantries. Why not be confident? Most days, I would usually stress about like, oh, I don't have, like I can't do a video in my house and have the proper lighting and shit. Like, I know this video is gonna be trashed in comparison to like a regular video, but I'm honestly in the state of, I don't care. Like, and I just like, I feel like I just wanna talk my shit. Um, so what did I get? I got the, this is a new sub called the Montreal Steak. So I, it's just their same steak seasoned with Montreal steak spice seasoning. So we'll see how true and good it is. Uh, I live in Canada, I'm by Montreal, and I should be able to decipher on the palate whether this is Montreal AF or not. But anyways, there's a little look at it. I got it loaded up with some veg. I got the extra cheese. Also got some Southern sweet barbecues. I know those are going directly on the sub. Do a half bag on that. As you can see. Close her up. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. All right, all right, all right. Confirmed. The Montreal steak spice, legit. Very Montreal steaky in its nature. Very good. Mmm. Those barbecue chips match with that steak, very good. I got um, chipotle, ranch, and garlic aioli. I also got the toxic green Mountain Dew. I was debating between the Dr. Pepper. I said, fuck it, let me get a Dew. It's rare that I do the Dew. But the dew is so good. Now I can't take full credit for this unbridled confidence, uh, I think. The fact that I got lit last night and it was Halloween. I may still just be a little drunk. Has everything to do with it. But honestly, if I could live life in this state perpetually, I'd be stoked. <clears throat> I 
I honestly think I just get so so much further ahead. If I could live my life like half buzzed. Which is why alcohol is so dangerous because if taken in the right amount, it just allows you to like become who you actually want to be without like over analyzing and judging yourself in moment to moment. Instead of thinking about it, you just do the thing. And when you just do the thing and don't judge yourself, like so much more just like gets done. Like, And to the person observing you in that moment, like their belief, like your belief in yourself is so real that it triggers that in them. And so now they're on board with you. Like they just believe in you because like you're just that, you know what I mean? When you second guess yourself, People second guess you as well because you're emitting <laughs> that energy, that, that that vibe. People can pick that up. I don't know if you guys can see this. All saucy. God damn it. All right. Second half. Chips going on. Hey, yo. Get in there. Like, even when. When I ordered the sub, she's like, Do you want extra cheese? I knew it would be more money, but I was just like, Yeah, fuck it, why not? So it's gonna be two dollars extra. Like most people would think and stop and stress and be like, oh, two bucks for cheese, that nah, fuck it. My thought was, what's two dollars? Like in the grand scheme of today's prices, and how outrageous the expense of everything in the world is. Like, what is two dollars? It's a hilarious amount of money. It's like a dollar is the new penny. It's honestly at the point where like I could be going to get like my keys or something in my pocket, like two quarters could fall out and I'm legitimately like the inconvenience of bending over is worth losing 50 cents. Like I'm, I'm, I'm just like, fuck, fuck those quarters. Like, <laughs> and I ain't even balling like that. They could just stay down there. Somebody else could have it. That's a really good. Pretty impressed. And that extra cheese, it's helping. (laughs) 
this extra bit of confidence actually really helped too. And I, I just went down to the bank before I got this to follow up with my, uh, my fraud situation because I was robbed for like thousands of dollars. And the dude I was dealing with gave me his card the other day, told me to like call him if I have any questions. Of course I called him uh, yesterday and he didn't call back. So I went down, saw him face to face. And uh, he's like on the account and showing that they were active on your, uh, they were active in your like ticket as uh, recent as of today, as today. He was like, it's just time at this point. I'm like, oh yeah, that's fine. But I was just being so like, like, let's cut the bullshit. Give me the truth here, but, but I'd like, you know, when you can like, read through that customer service phase <clears throat> that somebody's just putting on to like appease your emotions in the moment. They're like, yeah, yeah, for sure. It's being handled. Like it's definitely like for sure. Like meanwhile, you know that he himself has no fucking clue like what's happening on that end of things, like on, in the actual department. He just needs to say that so that you don't flip out essentially maybe. But I'm not your average person that's like an idiot. Like a lot of people are blinded by their rage or whatever. And they just expect to have like this person to have answers. Like I know this dude doesn't have answers. And he's just waiting for that side to do what they need to do. I get it. And I'm never, never going to be the type of person to like take my rage out on this guy. Who really can't do shit about the problem anyways. What I did say to him, I was like, look, man, you understand that this is shitty, right? And he's like, yeah, for sure. And I'm like, instead of me coming down here and talking to you all the time, can you just like hit me up with periodic emails regarding this case and time frames, and just like be like, it's almost done or they're working like just, you know, in a few days, if nothing's changed, like just hit me on the email and be like, this is the situation. Cause I don't want to live in this like state of unknowing where I constantly have to like go back to the bank and then summon him again and talk to him in person. Like it's 2018, just hit me on the text. Like inside of business hours, like when you're at work and you have a free moment, like when you're on the clock getting paid a free minute as you're, as you're, as an RBC customer, just fucking hit me on the text, bro. Like just, Hey man, like this is what's happening. Easy. You know, I don't need you to be telling me when you're at, like having your me time at home or anything like that. You know, I just, when you're on the clock, you get three seconds, just hit me up. That's it. Not hard. Anyways, that was a random video off the cuff, not in my normal space, but I was just felt like talking my shit today. So that's it. Uh, Mountain Dew is delicious. And uh, I'm going to go lay in bed and die now. All right. You can live. I'll stay true. Peace.